We're pleased to uh, have Lucy Powell with us uh, today. Lucy is the 2018 winner of the Folk Acoustic category. Welcome Lucy. Thank you. Now, you were the winner of the uh, youth category last year and uh, now you've, you've popped up as the, the winner of one of the adult categories. How does that make you feel? Um, pretty proud. It's a very big achievement for me considering I'm only 15. I think most of the time I feel intimidated by older people so I think it's nice just to have that self-confidence that I can be as good as them, I think. Yes, yes. And your song, um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, this, the song is about my ex-boyfriend. Right. Um, it's called I Used To Love You, so I think it's about the time we spent together and how I miss that, and I guess it's all explained in the song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, can you tell us a bit more? Um, what, what, uh, you're obviously inspired by uh, a past relationship, yeah. um, but what, what do you conclude out of uh, the song, uh, Move On? Uh, Sort of. It's sort. It's sort of about the getting over process. Like yeah. you're not fully over them, and most of the when you most of the time when you think about them, you think about all the time you spent together and how you sort of want that back, but you know you can't have it back. Yes. And so I think it's about the realization that you need to move on and letting go. Yeah. Okay. Now you're a performing songwriter. Um, and you're from the central coast of New South Wales. Um, do you perform around the coast at all? Yeah, all the time. I do gigs at pubs and I do lots of busking gigs sometimes. Yes. They're not my favourite, but gives me money. So yeah. I do um, some... I've done a gig with Grizz Grizzly Train. I don't know if you know them, but they're Casey Chambers' band. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I did one gig with them and my guitar teacher, which was awesome. That's like my favourite gig I've ever done. I go to a few open mic nights. My guitar teacher, Trent Crawford, he does an open mic night at Avoca Beach Hotel. Right. So right. I often go to that because that's a whole lot of fun. And sometimes he gets up with his mandolin and plays with me as well with okay. the songs that he knows. Wow. So yeah. Good. And uh, are you doing any recording at all of, uh, of your songs? Um. Not at the moment. I've got a whole lot of songs that I want to record and I've got a lot of um, recording, like, sort of deal contract things that, like, I've won in contests and stuff. So yeah, yeah. emailing all those sorts of people and trying to get involved and sort of contacting them and asking them if they'd be keen to record. Great. Yeah. Great. And... Um in, ter in terms of your songs, what's, what's the main inspiration that you, you tend to write about? Um... <laughs> um, boys. Yeah. Um, being a teenager, I've been writing a lot about that lately because I think everything's sort of changing now. I think everyone's sort of growing up and realising that life's too short to be all dramatic. and. Yeah. So yeah, that's mostly what I write about. That's, that's how Taylor Swift uh, started out. So, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, look where she is. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so um, uh, eventually you're planning to put an EP out or a, an album of your songs yeah. or, or something like that? Yeah, I wrote an, I wrote an EP a few years ago. Um, I think I was 13. So my voice has changed so much. Every time I listen to yeah, that yeah. EP, I'm like, oh my God, I sound nothing like that anymore. But yeah, definitely. I've got a few songs that I would love to record. So getting into that, yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay, well, uh, we look forward uh, to listening to you tonight. You're just uh, just going on solo with your guitar tonight. Yeah, just okay. me and my guitar. Great. Look forward to it, Lucy Powell.